Hello again YouTubers. Um, slight departure from me this time, whereas um, I'm not in the camera. Most of you will be applauding that, no doubt. So uh, I'm just hand-holding at this one and trying to look in this view. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, I just wanted to do a little um, video, as I mentioned before, on estate pipe restoration. Now I want to make it clear, I'm not an expert on this, and my approach to this is ham-fisted and pretty low-tech. Uh, but it works, and I have to thank really a uh, Spain pipe for getting me into this uh, I've been smoking for quite a while and wanted to just try a different aspect of the hobby so you know getting some old pipes and restoring them seemed to be the next phase of doing it so anyway uh, what I am focusing on now and I'm hoping it is in focus is some estate pipes I've already worked on and completed um, and then I just wanted to show you uh, uh, the kind of toolkit I've got uh, and just to show that low tech can work okay so um, yeah, it's going to be a, let's have a look now the very first one i did was this one here um again i'm not going to show this is in focus it's actually an old falcon pipe uh, none of the ones i'm going to show you did i buy off ebay what i tend to do a lot is go around to craft fairs and bric-a-brac stalls on markets and pop into charity shops i've actually found one in a charity shop goodness me but most of them have come from bric-a-brac fairs where people have been doing house clearances now I can't remember where I got this one. I think this was from um, a craft fair. Some guy was doing wood turning. He just had a bowl of tobacco on there. A bowl of pipe, sorry, on there. Most of them were just really, really horrid. But I picked this one up. Um, now, like most estate pipes, this was in a bright old mess. It was well caked. Sorry, let's get this angle right. It's quite odd for me. Well caked up at the top here. And like a lot of them, you know, you could hardly get your finger in here, really. The um, band here was massively tarnished and loads of oxidation on the top here. Um, I've been smoking this week and there's probably still a bit more on there really. Um, so that's come up nice. It wasn't too bad on the bowl itself, just very, very dull and matted. Um, so a bit of cleaning and that would bring it back up and some polishing. Um, brought it out quite nicely I think, yeah. Um, very, very heavy. There's loads of filler in the bowl, but it was as cheap as anything and it was a good thing to practice, start practicing on. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, this thing here, yeah. Uh, this is my first straight pipe, really. Um, and this was in a complete mess. This came off a bric-a-brac market. Again, a little old ice cream um, container with three pipes in it. One was just a bowl with no stem. And at the end of it, the stem here was just a big load of ma masking tape. Uh, the guy wanted five pounds for each of these. And this was the best of the three that were in there. But this one, when it started out, was yellow i mean that was the color that was the staining was yellow with this thick glossy vine that'd be massively chipped all over the place and again the stem was just in an appalling state almost green and verdigreed it was horrid uh it's a no brand it's just a london brand so not particularly named so i mean i didn't know what to do with this one there was a big chip at the side here around the other side here in the varnish that had gone right down to the briar and you know, this is the second one I'd ever worked on and I didn't really know what to do with it. So I took the plunge and I just sanded the whole thing back, every single bit right down to the wood. And it looks sort of bare and naked. And then all I've done here is just built it up with beeswax. Um, now I've had a look on the internet and guys, and especially in the UK, please drop me a line if there's a good place so I can get some carnauba wax or carnauba wax, which is what I understand to be the best one. And again, I show you my little kit in the moment. I use a furniture polish and, and just generally beeswax uh, in a very manual intensive and very slow way, as you'll see. So that's a good one. Um, oh no, this next one I did get off eBay. Oh, brilliant find, this one. This, uh, right, you see that's a mission. This is a Hilton. And I, it was a single pipe auction for £2.65. Um, now I've been looking at the Hilson Oil on a couple of the web websites and I'm thinking, God, they were lovely, but they were well out of my price bracket, like £90. This, like, this one was like £2.65, I think. So I put a bid, I put a sort of cheeky bid of £15 in on it um, with two days for the auction to end. And, you know, I got it. I was the only bidder for this. Uh, and on the photograph, it looked a bright cherry red, but in reasonably good condition. And to be honest with you, I won the bid, £2.65, it cost me £2.50 to post it. So, you know, £5 for this one. And when I got it, this was um, on the top here, heavily, heavily caked. And again, inside as well. And it wasn't so I started taking this back at the top. It just, you know, a bit of spit and some uh, Q-tips. 
long laborious work that was and I sort of chipped a little bit away with some files I'll show you as well but I realised I thought oh my god there's a crack in it but it wasn't until I got about a bit more that I realised it was um, me a shine line bowl so no salt and alcohol treatment on that one um, reamed it back I've got to do another little ream me again on that one um, but again it wasn't a cherry red it was the outside of it was, was in pretty good nick so I've given that a polish again and just done the stem and that's ready to go that one um, what else have we got Oh, this one this is a I'll show you some more in a minute I picked up a set of uh, 12 or 13 pipes from a local bric-a-brac market in, in the market in the town where I live I got there pretty early in the morning then the guy was still unpacking stuff when he stole the newspapers um, so I hadn't seen these first of all because he was standing in front of them so I had a little wander about came back I had, and then I saw them on the table he had a pipe rack um, oh, I haven't brought that with me to show you with these all standing up inside it um, and this was one of them. Um, I'll just I'll quickly show you the others in a minute. Um, now this is a Bewley. There were three Bewley pipes in there, which I've looked up, and I believe were, or Bewley was a shop in London somewhere, and had pipes made from people like Dunhill, um, Barling, um, Sheraton, I believe. Um, I need to check that up again, so I could be wrong there. But they were sort of specifically made for them, branded for them. Now this is not the original stem on this one the stem was beyond repair at the end on the stem it was actually wafer thin and there was a massive great chip in it there so i've actually replaced uh with another stem from a pipe again where the bowl was beyond repair um it's pretty rough at the top there again um i just need to ream it out a bit um but other than that the outside wasn't too bad so that just needs reaming and a good sort of alcohol treatment on that one and i was really lucky i have no idea what stem that was it just fits beautifully and I have oh, another one here as well. Um, I think this is, let me go back a bit, I think this is what is called a ladies church warden. Uh, but I just call it a half church warden or another little reading pipe. Um, again, that was the original stem with it. Um, it I wondered whether someone had just stuck it on there, but it goes really well. Um, so I'd clean that up. Not too bad on the outside. So again, I've just put some beeswax and uh, furniture polish on that and given that a go over. And uh, that's come out really nice. So, uh, what now i've just got two two of my works in progress here let's have a look um, which i don't know what to do with um this one i picked up i think it's a little seft and it's called and again look at that look at the state of that i don't know whether you can pick that up on here um that's appalling how do people treat pipes like that oh. so uh as you can see i've decided to sand that back i don't know how far i'm gonna have to go back on that one i don't think it's gone through it's obviously just been filled but you know I'm, I'm hoping that works that'd be a great little you know look a tiny little bowl there for twists and plugs um, and another work in progress in this one um, mm, yeah as you can see that brown's gonna have to go so I'm gonna have to sand that down with some wet and dry fine cut um, so I'm probably gonna lose the brown that one don't care but it's, it was rusticated but it's horrible brown um, so what I'm thinking of doing this one guys is at the sides here so I'm doing this one-handed is so there's a flat on either side which is fine sand that right back to the bare wood and again similarly at the top there and leave it at that just get that polished up and i'm just obviously trying to wear away some of the rustication sorry the, the stained black staining on there which pretty much hides the rustication um a little back a little bit more um and see how it goes uh, so yeah bare at the side bare wood at the sides there in the top and just take some of that staining off and try to polish that rustication up and have a go at that stem there so that's probably going to take off the brown what i presume is staining on it um and these are some of the other pipes again i got in that little um lot i got um again another little beauty pipe again looking at it, i think the earth i think they stopped being made or beauties went out of business in 1950 so i think if i'm correct and um, but these are at least 60 years old so there's that one there and there's another lovely little love up there yeah a bit highly polished for me but you know I don't want to start taking that back because there's a little sandblasting on there um, but again stems not too bad on that one um, little Prince of Wales here again sorry I'm going to play this back it's probably going to come out awful um, again not too much work to do on that ream it out sort of alcohol treatment in there stem looks pretty good lightly polished but what a lovely little shape that is uh prince of wales um yeah an old falcon um brilliant oh, quite, quite fancy one of those pick that up 
uh, and that was part of the same job lot in the rack there from the uh, bric-a-brac still from the house clearance yeah it bowls a bit manky at the top there so we're gonna have a go at that I don't know about that one it's smokable it's not in bad nick I don't like think I like that rubbishy stuff there I don't know when you can see it um, but again needs a lot of reaming that's hardly any room in there at all oh, horrible and here's two little, little meerschaum one look fantastic um, cased in leather so little chip there so what I'm going to be doing on that one is just to sand that right back I think and just smooth out the edges there being careful not to actually damage the leather and just put some leather balm on there uh, this is a screwing one and that's pretty loose but I'm hoping when I start putting a cleaning shank brush sorry brush down there shank clean down there I've heard uh, that sometimes that can help with the uh, tightening the thread up there and this one was my beautiful find this one again leather clad Shakui Komoi Rhodesian yeah stems not too bad that needs a little bit of work it's just gone a bit dull um, again some leather balm on that I think it's a bit black at the top there so I'm gonna have to be careful with that so I was gonna you know go at that with some saliva and q-tips Ream out needs reaming and uh, hopefully that should come up nice so there's my work in progress as well now again I waffle on a bit it's 11 minutes so I'm gonna see if I can go for the full 15 minutes and just give you a quick demo of my uh, tool I do not have any buffing wheels I do not have anything electric at all so all my stuff is done by hand so there's my French polish there, I don't know whether you can see that and where it's going to come in focus which I use. Uh, two brushes, always keep, they're very cheap, great for going around rusticate your stuff, just getting into the grooves and the crevices and the cracks. Old shirts I use and bed cloths just for polishing up. Um, these, oh what do they call these ones, these uh, pipe cleaners with the little nylon bits in it as well. Okay, so let's have a look as well. Um, Oh, got some old antler horns in there. I was thinking of making some uh, reamers with that. But I'm trying to find some bullet shells that um, Mike Fleeg uses. Again, just a little um, pipette there for salt and alcohol treatment. Tweezers, some new shank brushes there. Great things. You can reuse them and reuse them until they just get worn out. A um, couple of little chisel, uh, little scalpels there, just for sometimes scraping on. The inevitable Q-tips, Dunhill pipe polish. Um, knives on there, that's mainly for cutting my plugs up really um, and inevitably just having a good reasonably cheap reaming set four different heads there for you know different size bowls starting off when the cake is really heavy um, and that's it really and oh yeah look bottle of rum that's what I used to clean my pipes out all right uh, it's 80% proof don't drink much of this uh, but also use that in the salt and alcohol treatment and the only reason I chose that A because it's 80 proof it's slightly spiced but if I can focus in on there it's called Sailor Jerry who was a tattooist but a pipe smoker as well no brainer for me to choose that one excuse me a second uh, Brasso and Silvo um, Sometimes I get a pipe racks when they've got the brass rings at the top to slot into, but generally I use those on the um, stems. So they've got a bit of silver or chrome or nickel or something like that. That brings it up nicely. Uh, I think that's all I've got to say really. Oh yeah, just one other little curious thing i got in there. I just wanted to show you is this little thing here, which I believe is meerschaum. It's got nothing written on it. Um, it's obviously been smoked. Um, it's got that stupid little chain, which I may well take off because it's just pointless but um and i presume that's pewter on there so yeah curious little pipe but again i'm sure it's it's so lightweight i'm sure that's uh meerschaum okay anyway look, i'm fast approaching my 15 minutes i'm going to play this back see how i feel about it um hope it's been interesting thanks guys <laughs>